In this tutorial, we'll focus on your day-to-day -day in Hive and the specific features that are going to come most in handy for you in managing your to-do lists and tasks along with managing the work of others if you are a team lead or manager. So first off, when I come into Hive, I might be in Project Navigator. Now while Project Navigator is the home to all of our projects, it doesn't necessarily have to be your home on a day-to-day -day basis. We're going to walk through a few different areas that should be your go-to spots in Hive. First off, we'll start with my actions. My actions should be your anchor in Hive on a day-to-day -to, -day to manage your to-do list and everything you're assigned on different projects. My actions provides that view of all of your assignments aggregated across your projects. So as a team contributor, as a manager of others, no matter who you are, my actions is going to be the best place for you to understand the work you're owning as well as the work you've assigned to others. So you can see what you've assigned to others by the project. You can also see the due date you're expecting people to get these items to you. And within my actions view, you can click into action cards. You can click into the project from that card. So you never have to feel that you're going back to Project Navigator to find the specific project. My actions allows you to go directly to the project by clicking on the project header or you can click directly into the project from the action card itself. Now, a few other items about managing your day-to-day -day in my actions view. You can set specific sorts and groupings as well as filters on the actions you're seeing by their due date. So if you need to call down your list to what's due this month, you can do that. One thing to note is that if you have no due date on things and you've applied a filter, you want to make sure that you're also checking on things that have no due date, uh, just to make sure you're catching everything. Now, if you have a new item that comes up, whether it's for you or someone else, you do not have to go into the project to create that action. You should feel empowered to create that action directly from your My Actions view or wherever you're located in Hive. So we're going to go through First, how to create actions for yourself in my actions view, and then how to create actions for others or yourself, no matter where you are in Hive. I can create actions for myself directly into my actions view from right here by clicking in, typing that I need to update a report. I can put this into my Hive implementation project. I can date it for the third. Maybe I need a label on it and done. There it is. From there, I can click in, I can add mention folks, I can make updates, all without leaving my actions view. Now say I need to assign out an item for JD. Maybe something came up and I need to create a new action. I can create an action for JD right here. I can select the project it needs to go into. I can title it. and I can add all the information that JD is going to need to complete this task without ever leaving my actions view again. JD and I can then converse and have a conversation about this. And if I need to come back to it, of course, I've just assigned it out to JD and I can see it in this list here. Now, in addition to my actions view and creating new actions, I can also always be checking my notifications. And from checking my notifications, I'm gonna keep up with the day-to-day -day activity. I can click into action cards that are showing up here and keep track of those items. Additionally, a few other helpful tips on managing my work in Hive. If I need to come back to something a bit later, I can always minimize an action to keep track of it without having to X out of it and potentially forget about it. I can always have it minimized here, and when I'm ready, I can X out. I additionally can also see my recently viewed actions. I can always come in here, take a look, and look at what I was recently working on previously. This is super helpful so that I'm keeping track of the work that was top of mind for me that day um, or what I was recently working on. Now, aside from keeping track of your actions, when we think about those larger projects that we might be managing timelines for or we might want to see the broader context of, and 
we want to have them in an easy place. This is where your favorites bar comes in handy. So you should definitely be consulting Project Navigator and determining what are the views that I want access to? What are the things that I want to have specifically top of mind for myself? So wherever I am in Hive, I can always click here. Whether that means pinning or unpinning certain things, depending on the week, depending on you know, what's busiest, what's happening, you should always be consulting your favorites bar as the place to go to see projects and summary views. So when we go into summary views, I can pin specific views that are going to be necessary for me. If I'm a manager, maybe I always want access to my team at the top. Um, and I can always make sure that views I want are here. So no matter where I am in Hive, I'm able to access these views. And from here, you should have everything you need to manage your work on a day-to-day -day basis and have everything easily in one place to work on.